Hey guys, ZegJ here from ZegJ Outdoors again. Going to be doing my kayak review today for my Ascend H12 kayak. And there's going to be two real sections of this video. First, going to be my categorical ratings of certain things, uh, more and more particularly uh, stability, comfortability, and ease of transportation. And then my next section is going to be over uh, suggestions I would make to, you know, put at, like add-ons and stuff like that. So let's get right into the categorical section. All right, first I'm going to be starting with ease of transportation. So given that this kayak is only 75 pounds and it's around 12 foot, it's not too bad to move around, but as you start adding stuff into the kayak, it gains a lot of weight. You know, whenever I put my, my, all my gear in there, it's probably like 100 pounds, and I can feel it, and, uh, which makes it a little bit difficult to move around. And then another obstacle they have to go through whenever you're moving around is this center section of the kayak right here. Now it doesn't really look like there's anything to do right here, but as I lift the kayak up to show you the, in, the underside, there's this big gap. Which, I mean, when you're trying to put wheels under here sometimes, not all the time are they gonna be able to touch this part and this part at the same time. So that can be a little bit of an issue finding a good little uh, set of wheels to put under here. But whenever you find them, it makes it a little bit easier and then uh, makes it a little bit better to transport. Um, that's really the main issue just with that and so my rating for this right now is going to be around in let's say 8.5 just because it's not too heavy making it since it's only 75 pounds but it becomes an issue with that center section uh, whenever you're, you try to put wheels on it which makes it a little bit more difficult on you and then let's move on into the comfortability section this kayak comes defaultly with this seat right here, which can go, which is on this little rack system here, which you can move it up for as, as forward as you can or as back as you can. And then you can adjust the little back support with this little cinching system kind of thing. And then you have these little foot pedals on the sides, which then uh, lets you, you know, put your legs in there have them up straight like that if you like or you know bent whatever you want just so that you can stay comfortable as you can well as comfortable as you can so then comfortability I'm gonna rate this one at a nine just because sometimes you know trying to paddle on stuff it gets a little tough because you're you're since it's a since it's like it's the kayak is since it's H H is where you, is where it says is where is where it means hybrid and it would I mean hybrid by this is a hybrid sit in and sit on kayak so not um, a normal kayak like usual uh, it's kind of like a canoe is how it's shaped you know you know in the kayak and canoes sorry you're usually sitting in them and it kind of has a general form of a canoe and uh, which like I said can come can become an issue sometimes if you're trying to paddle and since you're sitting in it you're not getting as much uh, you know, force going into your paddles, making you go a little bit slower and taking longer and somewhat bringing fatigue to you. So like I said, I'm going to be rating this at a 9. Now let's go to now the stability. So the stability um, kind of peaks in this kayak due to that little center section indent. So you have this upper upward part right here, but as you see, so that you can put your legs right on the outs well, the outer inside of the kayak, which Saying that like that doesn't make any sense, but let me show you. As you put your feet in here, you can move them to the sides of the kayak just so you balance yourself as best as you can. You know, uh, balance your weight. To uh, And that helps you, you know, so whenever you're wanting to stand up and fish, that makes that a lot better. Or, I mean, if you want to do like this, you can. It's just you have to be a little bit more active about it and just make sure that you don't put too much weight on one side because then you'll start you know moving over and then you could possibly fall over so for comfort uh, not for comfortability stability we're going to be rating this at a 9.5 just because sometimes in rougher waters it's hard to stand up and I don't really totally advise it just because you could tip over and I wouldn't want that for anybody so like I said 9.5 and so essentially like I just went over my ratings for this, uh, for the starting off with easy transportation, uh, as I said, is going to be an 8.5, then comfortability, 9 point, well, 9, and then stability is a 9.5. Um, and then let's look into some additions, I'd say, to, well, to help better your kayak use. So, um, necessities, honestly, um, 
is an uh, an ore leash, just so that if you I mean if you're not paying attention to your ore and it just falls out of your boat, it's just not gonna float off into anywhere. So ore leash is a need, and then second need is an anchor. Anchors will help you, you know, stay in one spot because someone like this kayak is that though you can see that the water line typically goes up to here you're sitting right here and if you're standing up you become even more I don't think it's wind resistance is the right word but you you block the wind so that it pushes you even farther so a uh, anchor like this or just the mushroom ones can work good just if you I mean if you're using the mushroom ones they do not work really well in soft bottoms or um, or just soft bottoms in general that's why I'm just going with this little, this kind of anchor right here, just because it's gonna help me get stuck to some places. And even though um, sometimes it didn't stick too well in mushy bottoms, it still keeps me there pretty well. So that is that. And then, along with the anchor, is this anchor cleat that keeps you so that you don't just whenever you're having your anchor line go anchor rope go down, you're not just gonna be having to hold on to it with like your legs or something like that. So anchor the, the anchor cleat and the ore leash are a must um like i said also the pair of wheels helps out a lot just because it makes transportation even easier um that's that's pretty much all my additions to my knowledge that i've done to it i like to eventually um i'm not sure if i'm going to be mounting like a sonar or something like that i do have a, a deeper smart fish finder which which helps me find fish, you know, if I'm not being able to, if the water's like insanely dirty or something like that, that really makes it uh, a lot easier for me. But besides that, that's all my modifications, and that's my categorical rating. I hope this uh, review helps you. I mean, comment any questions down below, and I'll do my be do my best to answer you. Um, I've been uh, answering questions on it for a little while. People have been requesting a review, so here's my review. If there's anything else you want me to do on my review, like how I unload and unload my kayak, I can do a little... Uh, I don't know if I'll do a video for it, but I'll do, I'll do something. And just to help anyone who is interested in this kayak, I'll, just, I'll get some info on it. And so essentially, I mean, this is a really good kayak, you know, for a, for a starting kayak. For, I mean, for me too, just because... It's not. It's not too heavy. I mean, I, I can get it places, and it's it's what I it's it get it gets the job done, you know. And you know, it's it's no Hobie, you know. Um, it's good. It's good for the price, you know. Uh, you usually can get them at Bass Pro or some other locations. I'm not completely sure, but for the price range for this, I I think it's a really good kayak to start out with. I feel feel like people should eventually move on to Hobies. But Ascent is the right place to start. So I hope this review helped you out. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, you know, comment them down below. I'll help. I'll try to answer you. And um, I guess I'll catch you later on the next video with Zachy Outdoors. Thank you very much.